a lot of them come in and they'll literally hand us a picture and they'll go, how much to make this and when can you have it done? And we're like, there's no easy button here, but we can help you. <laughs> We're at Fabric, the Fashion and Business Resource Innovation Center. It's a fashion incubator in Tempe, Arizona. It has everything that a designer would need to be able to create their ideas from concept all the way through small batch manufacturing and then market that and get it to their customer. The whole point here is that we can make everything under one roof. My interest in fashion design started when I was really young because I'm an identical twin. Our parents dressed us alike for way too long, so we started ripping apart our clothes and redesigning them so we would have different outfits. I got my MBA so I could figure out all the stuff I needed to do to actually scale a company. And then, because there was no resources here, I thought, well, we just need a local resource where people care about the designer. I'm actually from Arizona, and I thought, I want to create a space that has everything for small brands making niche products in small quantities. It needs to all be under one roof. Sherry and I crossed paths and she brought a lot of the business savvy to my creative process. The story ends up with probably the luckiest day of our lives. We had an opportunity to buy a bunch of equipment. I call it a bungee jump off of a bridge because we wrote a really big check with no place. We had a meeting with the city of Tempe. The economic development director, she walked us over to this building. This was a former performing arts theater. When we first acquired this building, we made a really unique arrangement with the city of Tempe. Our nonprofit, Arizona Apparel Foundation, is responsible for giving back free and discounted resources to the community. The request was about $300,000 a year. In the three years we've been here, we've been able to provide about $1.5 million in give back to the community. This is our fabric store. When we first moved in here, I got lost all the time. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Can we come Good. in? Absolutely. My wife was consulting for another brand. She just randomly through a Google search found fabric. That's what led to our new brand, Naked Rebellion. This is going to, I think, be the biggest brand that we've launched out of this building. <laughs> that, would be, that would be amazing. This is an office for OXDX clothing. Started here as a designer in residence. It's nice to have the resources here at hand and the power of the community has been really nice. How long will you make? It's so amazing. Um, thank you so much. So I actually focus on making modest evening wear. So it all starts from this, you know, something very beautiful, very rich, and then just focus on the woman herself, on her accomplishments and achievements. And I'm very blessed that Fabric has kind of been helping me to create that. We basically can do almost everything here, and we really have. We have made everything from yoga pants to wedding dresses. And so to support this, you're also sitting in our event space. And so this whole space transforms. It's filled with hundreds of people watching runway shows, and everything happens in here to support this. When we first opened this, I had already had a directory for the fashion community, so when we created Fabric, we had a need to create more websites so that we could share the other things that we were doing. It's really there to point everybody in the right direction. And this is where you can find the manufacturing, this is where you can find the events, this is where you can find the calendar and the classifieds and the directory and everything that we do. We're lucky, this is a big city and there's a lot of people who have really great industry experience that move here. And this isn't just a bunch of designers and home sewers that got together to help each other. This is really the real deal. Because we live it every day, we know what's going on here and how special it is. What I'm most grateful for is that others are starting to recognize it. Every so often, one of the brand owners or designers will get my attention and say, I just want you to know, because of Fabric, I'm able to run a business here in Arizona. That's the kind of stuff that, you know, brings up emotions and, and makes me teary-eyed. And when a designer tells you something like that, that they've, their life has changed, all that work every day when we're plunging a toilet, that's the kind of stuff you got to think about to be able to, <laughs> to keep going. It's craziness, and it's just fueled by passion. Passion, <laughs> passion and gumption and coffee and no sleep. <laughs>